me show you what fusion can do. So today is the full roster trailer, the official one from Bandai Namco, and we have June Furutani here, the producer of Sparking Zero, that's setting this up. So I actually think that they did a really good job with this trailer. Like, not only was it precise and to the point, but like, we, we had a lot of like extras in there, like when they're showing the movie characters before they expanded the grid. We actually saw like their movie posters, like the original movie posters for the movies that they were in. It was a little weird they were jumping around from movies. Like I, they went directly into Broly, who they wanted to show in the center for the three forms there. But then they went to like Cooler, and then they went back to the first three movies. And then they went to Bojack and the movies afterwards. So it was kind of like like conjumbled a little bit. But I don't think people expected them to be in order anyway. And I know people were still contending uh, that they would have like Super 17 and characters like that. We were not getting those, and they still are up in the air for possible. DLC. We do know that like they're going to be making DLC for this game, obviously, because we have Superhero and Daima as the first year or so, whatever, of DLC. So there's always that chance we get our Nova Shenron, our Super 17, GT Vegeta, stuff like that, King Vegeta, a lot of characters that like weren't returning from Tenkaichi 3, uh, even characters like Arale and Spike the Devil Man and other Dragon Ball characters and such. So we can look forward to the future and hopefully we can get that, but we have a lot of characters to get our hands on with this directly, 182 characters to be precise. Amazing. Like that is a lot more than like we expected. Like I know a lot of us were going by the 164, but that's the whole purpose of why I did that in the first place is just like not to build people's false hopes up and then all of a sudden have them crash and their idea or view of the game be lesser than it would have if they just followed the regular hype train the way that things were being revealed as they were being revealed. I also want to talk about uh, June Furutani going over some of the battle modes and modes that are within this game. I think some of these um, look a little bit better than I thought. The custom battle in particular, or battle edit, I want to say, um, there is a lot of stuff there. Of course, there's no voice lines or dialogues that like June Furutani already said. Also, I wanted to show you this screenshot that we saw from somebody Apparently we're changing their custom auras, and this is part of the accessories that you see in the accessory list, like underneath of the characters. We still don't know 100% about what's going on with this item customization yet. We do see a halo, we do see this like V-shaped typed aura that's on Goku, and it actually changes his, how his aura looks like in battle, so that's actually pretty cool as well. I'm super excited and stoked for this game. Uh, my hype has only built. It was a little bit dwindled in the past when like I didn't think we were getting like GT and certain other characters and movies and whatnot. But now that like we know everything is official, everything's legit, and the trailer looks great, I'm as excited as probably the rest of you are. So I hope we can all play this together and have a great time. But I want to get to the poll of the last video before I actually move on. And in the poll I said, did the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero recent leaks get you more hype? 81% of people, which is the overwhelming majority of the votes, said, I'm more hype, let's go. 11% were neutral on it. 2% said it made them cancel their pre-order, which is kind of interesting. Maybe those are Super 17 fans or something, I don't know. 6% of people said it left me with more questions, and this is out of a pool of 283 votes. Um, and here's the comments on the screen as we're reading this. And like I said, in the next video, or in this video rather, you can actually go vote on the poll and your comments will show up in the next video as well. I am still doing my 4.30 Unifam gaming live stream tonight, so uh, don't worry about that. And this is just a bonus video, I guess. But any other thoughts are always welcome in the comment section down below, guys. And as I always say, I love it. Thank you. And thank you. Ivy Valentine subscribes to Mark Yoon. So should you. Enjoy your treat!